what you have to comprehend is that I know the Oklahoma tradition even better than the Southern Cal tradition because I was born into that, I was raised in that, and I was steeped in that. Nobody in my extended or immediate family liked any sports, but everybody in my extended family, and of course my immediate family, loved and lived for Oklahoma Sooners football. That was because our nationally ridiculed state had rebuilt its battered image around our college football team. Quick history lesson, in the late 1930s, the great John Steinbeck, I'm a big fan, wrote a book called The Grapes of Wrath about an Oklahoma family he called the Jodes, J-O-A-D-S, the Jodes, a family that was driven off its farmland by dust storms known as the Dust Bowl. That's one bowl you don't want to get invited to or play in. And in real life, thousands of Okies, as they were called, I consider that a derogatory term, they did load up their cars, their families, and they did drive all the way to California in search of the promised land. So it was after World War II ended that the University of Oklahoma Board of Regents got together and tried to come up with the best PR strategy to, to save Oklahoma's reputation nationally in its stained image. And their strategy was, let's try to create a championship football team, the best team money can buy. A slush fund was created, and as college football players returned from the war, free at that point, a la what we have today with the portal, but they were all free to sign with, with any school. I'm pretty sure that OU offered, in many cases, the most money. And under legendary coach Bud Wilkinson, my Sooners won a record 47 straight games, a record that will never, ever be broken. It was, it's just impossible. And through that time, I know in my very earliest years when we used to go on vacation, we didn't go far, didn't have much money, but if we went to Texas or Louisiana or Kansas City maybe or St. Louis, if somebody said, where are you guys from, Oklahoma? As soon as you said Oklahoma, they said, Sooners. Trust me, Sooners. When I went away to Vanderbilt, my freshman year, where are you from, Oklahoma? Sooners. Sooners. It became my claim to fame in my freshman dorm. Sooner fan. So guess who attended the home game in Norman, Oklahoma at Owen Field, the home game in which that 47-game winning streak was shockingly snapped. I did. I was all of five years of age. My grandfather had season tickets. He almost always took my older cousins to the games, but Notre Dame was the opponent that day, had just lost in South Bend to Navy. Notre Dame turned right around and went to Michigan State and got blown out 34 to six there. Notre Dame was a 19 point underdog that fateful day coming to Norman. And I'm assuming that none of my older cousins wanted to stoop to going to a game against Notre Dame, which had fallen completely out of the top 20 by that point. This was November 16th of 1957. 
that same Notre Dame team would go on the next week to lose to Iowa 21 to 13. So that Notre Dame team lost three of four games. But that day, as a 19 point underdog, Notre Dame beat my Sooners seven to nothing. Seven to nothing. My grandfather did not say a single word on our long drive home through heavy bumper to bumper traffic. Not a single word. He just fumed. My grandfather was a bull of a man that you did not mess with. Not a single word. So even though I went to Vanderbilt and graduated from Vanderbilt, I bleed crimson and cream. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.